Hello and welcome to the race and build from Legoland California which is all about Ferrari. Now this one has its own special Ferrari located on the inside and it is a life size model and it looks insane. So there's lots and lots of things to have a look at. Now luckily unlike the one in Billund this was actually empty so I managed to walk around and soak everything in rather than just having to take a couple of photos and do just a very very short video with something else. All of this is Legoland Ferrari World, so it is the race and build located at Legoland California. Now, the amazing thing is about all of the different Ferrari sections is they have all of the history of the company on the wall. This one had it in a different area. This is actually a little bit easier to see than Legoland Billund because you can come in, you can read all the information on the side of the wall if you want to. You've got the amazing car directly behind you, and then you can leave. Or you can then walk in to the different areas where you can build all the different race cars and take them down all of the massive slopes and loops and jumps that there is on to offer. Now, this is a much, much larger version of what they've got at the Lego house in Billund, Denmark. This is where I do believe it all started off. It looks amazing. I'm glad they're starting to do this. The fact that they've got a lot of more playability at all the different Legoland parks. And it's just really nice from an adult point of view as well. Just to read about all of the history of the company. And then seeing it all in Lego form as well at the exit. So you've got all of these bits and pieces with regards to all the different cars. Because this is something that I do find very, very interesting. But then at the exit, they have all of the Ferrari built up in Lego form as well. So like I said, they did have this in Billund. But how they have it on the wall in Billund, they've got a load of seats and chairs chairs in front of it so you can't really get close enough to read it whereas this one is all of the theming you see what you do you come around you wrap around and this car is in absolutely incredible condition so the ferrari f40 an icon of a car and you can see that it is on real rubber with all Lego brick built bits and pieces. Now, the inside of it looks very, very good as well. It was just happens to be perfect timing because I managed to do all of this and have a look at it all and just soak it all in. And then groups and groups of people started to come in because it was getting closer to the end of the day. So this is a very, very popular area. And I do believe when more and more people know that these have been opened up in all of the different Legoland parks around the world, it will be a go-to place for the big ones and smaller ones alike because you can get very competitive very very quickly with regards to doing the different bits and pieces now what i find even more fascinating is that every single legoland park has an exclusive full-size ferrari so this one is this ferrari that we're looking at now you can only find this car at legoland california and then windsor has its own We've already seen the one in Billund, so if you want to see the one in Billund, that is available at the Legoland Billund playlist. But you can see people are just starting to come in, and everybody was very, very surprised by what you were to see. It was very, very nice to see, but you can see you've got one hard plastic seat, which is the proper carbon fibre seat on the inside. You've got then the big Lego brick built engine, and then you've got the Lego brick seat on the opposite side. Now, like all of the other cars that are life like, you've got all the different signs, you've got the different... Um, noises you've got everything like that with the gas the engine starting up the lights coming on indicators work it's a very very impressive thing now obviously the only disadvantage of this compared to the one at legoland billund even though there's a lot of advantages to this is that when it's closed you can't get a picture of the car whereas the one in billund because it's on the outside of the building when it closes an hour before the park shuts or if it opens up later than the park opens up you can still get a photo of the vehicle whereas you can't in this one so you have to go in in the normal times because obviously if you don't you can imagine there'll be lots and lots of people building so the cutoff point to be able to go in and see the vehicle is i think about an hour maybe two hours before the park closes so you just got to keep that and bear that in mind but this is a very very popular section of the park this area always has been very very popular the lego house it's always been basically impossible to go around there and film it when there's nobody there because they just have uh, speed race reactions and little loops they've also started to add in a lot of boat variations in the different legoland parks as well and they have got one here so i the first ever time i saw that was at legoland water park in dubai that's a very very uh, impressive place and you had all the different bits that you can build up in there and you basically instead of it being boats uh, instead of it being cars it was boats that you'd race around but we're now having a look at the opposite seat so you can see how this one is different to the other side obviously in the steering wheel is the actual steering wheel and then you can see how they've done all the, all the chassis and everything around the outside it's a very 
very impressive thing. And I think as I start to walk away, I put I time at the right times. People start to come in and then they turn the lights on, which is perfect for me. So you can see the lights have just come on. Very, very impressive looking thing. You've got all the indicators and everything that work. It's a cool looking vehicle. Now, moving on to the inside. Now, this is something we never got to see properly at Legoland Billund. It's I think they have the same amount on the inside. It's just a completely different shape. So you've got all the different tracks. You have got a nice little Duplo area as well. So you've got the much, much bigger bricks for the smaller ones. And you've got their own sort of junior own Lego. And they've got that same in Duplo as well. But you can imagine there'll be pieces absolutely everywhere. But it's pretty cool because it says uh, pit in, build now. And then you can just design your car. You get all the wheels and do all those little bits and pieces. And then you just go off onto a track. Some of the tracks are looped. Some of them are jumped. Some of them are sort of more of an obstacle course. And others are a sort of reaction. But you can see you can do your different designs. So that one's for a GT car. And you've got to figure out what the quickest way is of getting from point A to point B. And they have got them up on the top for you to have a look at as well. So there's lots of different bits you can do. Obviously, you don't have to make them in massive detail. You can literally just put four wheels on a chassis if you wanted to. If you make it too light they'll spin out if you make it too heavy they won't work at all if the wheels are the wrong size and so on and so forth so again you've got lots and lots of things to consider if you're competitive if you're just there for a little bit of fun you will love it but you've got different areas like this this is the speed reaction one so this is where you all let go at the same time and it lets you know who wins with the actual time up top whereas this is a jumping one so you go through the actual wheel and it ends up just smashing on the other side so that's something you've got to take into consideration you will have to rebuild your vehicle pretty much at the end of every single one because that is a big jump for a very very small but very good looking car some of them you can see that they are quite steep you've got little steps to climb up and then you can just let go so you can see the arrows which way you go up at the top so there's your start line and that comes shooting down so that is for the bigger ones and the taller ones and there are multiple ones beside each other so you can see we're getting a good look at the size of this room and then there is another room beside it whereas the one at billand is just one big room it's really really nice just to see all of this and this is all what's starting to come about now again they have got one at legoland windsor which i'm yet to go to which is a bit of a shame that actually has been open a year now i've just not managed to get myself back down to that park and see the new ferrari uh, section that they've got there but i am assuming that every single legoland park around the world will have a ferrari place internally inside their park so if you can let me know what your local legoland park is and if they have one and how does it compare because i want to in 2024 i am getting to windsor billand germany i want to get over to malaysia and i want to get somewhere else and i don't know where the other one is to go i don't know whether to be brave and go over to japan or just do something really weird and wonderful like that but this park i would definitely go back to but they're in the process of doing and building lots and lots of different bits and pieces but they are also, I do believe, for the 2024 season, having the parade that they've been doing over at Legoland Germany as a big celebrationary thing. So I do believe that this park has a lot to offer in the 2024 year and obviously moving forward because they are in the process of adding in new sections, new rides and different bits and pieces like that. So there's lots to come from the channel with regards to travel and obviously Legoland parks. And then obviously we've got some of the unboxing videos and different bits and pieces in my own Lego city as well. But we are moving on to the massive Ferrari Technic. And then you've got the smaller Speed Champions. And then you've got all of these as well. Now I do have both of these and they do look very, very impressive side by side. The Speed Champion cars do look good. And what I do like is that they've added in every single merchandise that they're selling or have sold in the past that is all related to this theme. And again, you've got nice photo opportunities, which will be a really nice backdrop where you can just take a family photo, where you can obviously stand on the podium. And this is just close to the exit. But guys, that is it. I am done. So if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be absolutely fantastic as we're finishing off with a little Duplo section. Again, let us know in the comment section what your park has with regards to what it is like on the inside, what park you, you'll actually go to, so I know where to look for. And what car does it entail as well? But again, as always, thank you very much for watching. You lot take care and we'll see you next one. Ta-da.